Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This time we're talking about the long-awaited pot- Wait, no, this is just the Christmas update, my bad. Well, since we're here, let's take a look at the Smithmas update. Now this update is just the holiday update, which is usually just a couple hats, maybe a rebalance or two, and of course, the festive weapons. Now, if you're an old TF2 fan, you might remember the naughty and nice crates. Basically, one crate would give you cosmetics, while the other one would give you festive weapons. However, this year, they are only doing one crate. This crate gives you cosmetics and has a chance to drop a festivizer. Yes, they're doing those again. But this time, it's not skins, just items that aren't festivized yet. These items include the Fire Axe, the Jag, the Kritzkrieg, the Pistol, the Quick Fix, Natasha, the Sandman, the Spicicle, the Kukri, the Shovel, and the Scottish Resistance. Some people with a strong opinion on the Festivizer may claim it is a cheap way to create festive items, while others defend it with the fact that you can use it on your already existing items, like Collector's Festives, for example. However, I'll leave whether the inclusion of Festivizers to this update was a good or bad thing up to you. Next up is the Cosmetics. This is what we're all pumped about, right? Well, this update has a decent amount of cosmetics. My only real complaint is that they're mostly all class. Pyro has a couple that are for him, Demo has some, and the Scout has one or two, but other than that, most of these items are all class, which for the most part, people will find appealing. But personally, I like the fact that some classes had different cosmetics. Gave a little bit more personality to each character, in my opinion. Nowadays, it all kind of seems to blend together. Also, there are a lot of animal-themed items this year. Is Gaiman coming out, or does he just really like humanoid animals? Oh, yeah, they also added some new taunts. One for Sniper, one for Demo, and one for Heavy, which they all loop, and I always enjoy a nice looping taunt. So needless to say that I picked up the Heavy one almost immediately. Next up is by far the most important thing in this entire update. That is the casual changes. So what they did in this update was they now made it so at the end of each round you are presented with three maps you can vote on. The same map, or two different maps from a random game mode. Of course, you can still disconnect, but you no longer have to wait for 12 players to vote. If at least two people vote, they'll be taken to whatever map wins. Regardless to say, this destroys the rematch system on all accounts, and it is a lot easier to use. This essentially brings the pub feeling back in casual, where rounds don't really matter anymore, you can kinda just have fun with the game. Another change they did is they now gave players the option to change teams if the other side is down by players. Basically, they added manual balance, which is the absolute best way to go with balancing teams. It allows for noble players to join the other team if they want to help out the losing team, and it also allows for the people who don't want to do that to not. It's not forcing anyone to do anything, and it's allowing people to balance the game if they'd like to do that. Or, in my case, with me and my friends, it allows me to duel my heavy buddies once more. And I appreciate that. Thanks, Valve. Now, I've also noticed that servers are a lot more empty than before this update, which is not a bad thing, but it's also not a great thing. I think the ideal range for a pub setting is 7 to 10 players per team. So I'm not one to really complain on the fact that there's less players, because I personally think 12v12 is a little bit hectic. However, this could be due to the fact that this update just came out and the servers are still getting used to it. I've also noticed there is a significant reduction to queue times when solo queuing, which is a step in the right direction. It is still far from being perfect, with the only being able to queue with 6 people and not join via Steam thing, but they're getting there. These slight changes that Valve introduced into casual mode mean all the world to me, as I believe it will entice a more relaxed style of play in casual mode. I hope Valve continues their efforts to make casual matchmaking casual, but only time will tell if they do decide to continue in this mindset. So all in all, this update was fairly alright. Nothing too extreme, which is definitely a good thing, as Valve did some minor things that I appreciate and didn't really mess up anything in the process. However, I'm not saying this update is perfect, this update still has some flaws. The most notable flaws being the things they didn't do, like removing the tiered cosmetics or getting rid of the ranks in casual mode, but baby steps are still steps. If I could recommend any changes to this update or future updates, I would say to make more class-specific untiered cosmetics and have the ability to join any team you would like in casual mode, similar to how the old pub system works. But for the time being, this update certainly gave a bit of life into casual, and was honest to the Christmas tradition of new festives and cosmetics. However, we still are missing that comic that was supposed to come out. So where is that? Didn't they say that'd be done soon? Am I, am I mistaken? Am I mistaken about that? I will say I am a tad bit disappointed that this is not the Pyre update but at the same time, I'm also glad. I think if Valve rushed this Pyro update out, it would be another meet your match, and I really can't handle another one of those. But I also kind of want this update so bad, because then we're closer to the heavy update, and you all know how much I want that. So that's about it on this holiday update for TF2. It brought us some decent looking all-class cosmetics, three new looping taunts, and 11 new festives, with some minor changes to casual. Anyways, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a swell day. Peace out.